Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, whoo, whoo, whoo. I'm probably going to say this multiple times throughout the video, but okay, that's fine. So, this hairstyle is inspired um, by some hairstyles on Instagram. I'm not really sure her name. I'll put it right here I think I said I definitely said this in a video but I'll put it right here some way to picture that I got this inspired look from and yeah so I decided to do these passion twists and this look looks so freaking natural I love it and yes so I'm not gonna keep talking because I think I I know I, I, I know I definitely was speaking a lot in the video so I'm just gonna let y'all see the video let me show y'all my hair so you can decide if you want to like you know watch the video and see how i got the look and yes and if you watched my braid not my braid my rope twist video this is the beginner the more beginner that y'all asked for because a couple people commented about how to do the rope twist so this is going to show y'all how to do the rope twist i try to explain it as much as i can um you can probably skip to i'm not really sure i'll put it in the bottom if y'all want to just skip through but i did explain some things so if you want to stick around and hear some of the things i explained to clear up from the last video then you can stick around um i probably showed it in the video again but I'm going to show it again because my last video, I told y'all how long it took me, um, the hair that I used and how many packs of hair that I used and a lot of people still kept commenting. So I'm going to show y'all this again and I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to tell y'all how long it took me and everything now. So if you don't watch the whole video, you still know. Okay. So the hair that I use is this Janet Collection. Let's focus. This Janet collection. This is the Passion Twist hair. This is actually crochet hair. And this is 18 inches. Okay. This is in 1B. It says homemade braid. Um, yeah, I think that's for the most part much of telling y'all the hair. I only used two packs of hair. I did pretty jumbo parts so that's why I only used like two packs of hair. Let me loosen this because it seems like it's pulling up on my, my edges a little bit too much. You know we don't want to lose no edges. Okay. But yeah I only used two packs of hair. Only used two packs. Um, The lady that this look was inspired by she said that she used four packs of hair on people. I'm not really sure how that really worked. Oh my god, I'm running on the camera six. But, alright, and it was only two hours. Okay, thank you. Continue watching. Wait, what was going on? Okay, let me, let me rewind because I was trying to rush. But it only took me two hours to do my hair. I'm lying. It took me like two hours and 30 minutes because my mom parted my hair. And then I did it and it took me two hours to put all the twists in and cut it and do everything like that so this was a really quick and easy hairstyle and i would definitely do it again i'm gonna try to keep this hair in for you guys and see how long it lasts because a lot of you guys was asking me like how long did the hairstyle last but it's something about me that my brain my heart my body and my soul be like okay take your hair out see how much your hair grew or just be like okay we're ready for a new hairstyle so i end up taking my hairstyle out in like two weeks or so so i'm gonna try to keep this in as long as i can so i can give you guys like an estimate of how long it will really last you if you was to do it okay but yes that is it um like i said if you want to see how i got this just keep on watching and yes so i'm starting off i already have my hair parted um in these medium type of jumbo parts and yes if you want to see like how i do the parts and i put rubber bands in it um you can check out my other video I'll put the little thing, I think it's up here, or oh, it's up here. I'm not even really sure, but I'll put the card up there for you to go to my other video and just see how I did it. A lot of people in my other video was like talking about like the rubber bands. The rubber bands don't damage your hair, it's about how you take it out of your hair. 
So if you take it out in, you know, a good way, you won't damage your hair. Me personally, I pop it. Like, I just take a little piece out and I pop it. And then it loosens up and I take it out like that. I'm not sure if that's like a good way to do it. It don't damage my hair personally. But um, some girl did comment. I forgot her name, I'm sorry. But she did comment on my video and say that if you like soak the rubber bands and stuff, you can take it out like that. I'll put like a little screenshot of like what she said here when I edit this video. But she said you can like, you know, do it like that and it won't damage your hair. But me personally, I don't do that because I'm lazy and I don't see any breakage like when I pop my rubber band. And somebody also recommended a different way to do like the way I did the crochet. So I'm also going to try that and I'm going to see how it works. Well, I'm going to start at the back. I don't know if, I don't really want to waste my time and do it all at the back and then um I don't know what I'm saying to be honest <laughs> what am I trying to say okay so I'm gonna start at the back and I'm gonna try it but I can't really get a good angle when I'm doing the back of my hair so I won't be showing y'all when I try it at the back if it works out in the back I'll do it in the front and I'll show y'all like a different way to do it but for now I'm just gonna do everything off camera and I'll get to you guys when I'm in the front. So I saw this style on Instagram and she pretty much said that she used this type of passion twist hair. It was crochet hair. So um, I'm not really sure how she did it because she didn't really put like a video of like how she did it or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just untwist these and then we're going to go from there. This also, also has like this little bohemian type of curl at the bottom but um the style that she had it was like it looked like she cut it and put a rubber band at the end so that's what I'm gonna do even if that's not what she did that's what I'm gonna do because I think that's what she did and the way it looked I liked it like that so yeah and it was pretty hard trying to find like at first I was looking for hair I'm talking too much I'm sorry y'all <laughs> it did not work out the method that the lady told me in the comments where she told me to like do the like crochet like the whole knot thing you see that it doesn't look good so yeah we're gonna try my method that I use in that video and then if that doesn't look good to me I am going to just start off with a little braid and then do the twist okay so when I get to the front y'all see what method I went with but I'm leaving those two in the back because I don't really care. It's the back. I only really care about the front of my hair because when you see me, you see me. By the time you get to the back, if you look back, it's too late to get my attention. Okay? <laughs> so, I didn't end up doing the crochet method. I just did the braid method. Um, the crochet method didn't really work for me with this type of hair. Like when I pulled it through, it started to mess up the hair. So I didn't go with the crochet method. So we're just going to use a braid method and the real point of this video, even though I just want to show y'all like me doing an inspired look, um, a couple people, I'm not sure if I said this already, but a couple people said that the twist wasn't like, the rope twist wasn't really beginner, so I want to try to like explain it a little more or show y'all a little more how to do the rope twist, okay? So... But I do want to say, if you know how to grip the hair, you're probably not even watching this video, but use, don't use the rubber bands because for some reason, the rubber bands, like once I start doing a rope twist, everything is twisting around and the rubber band is kind of like sliding down. Okay, so I'm just going to show y'all here, just the braid. This is just how I'm braiding it. And as soon as this get back into the middle, this part, my hair, I'm just going to split it into two. And then we're going to do the rope twist. Alright, now you're going to see like how it twists around, like I said. So while I'm twisting and everything, I'm going to be adding some shining jam. Okay. It's hard to like. Think. Okay, let's see. So, when you twist in, let me zoom it in some. Okay. 
when you twisting you flicking your wrist and you turning this around and you just grab it like that's pretty much what you do like so it's like look at the flick of the wrist you just twist it both strands of hair like as you twisting it around each other you're also twisting the hair itself So it's like you turn it in opposite ways, if that makes sense. So, alright, this one is turning this way, and this one is turning this way, and then it's going to cross each other. So you turn both hairs, both strands of the hair, and then wrap it around each other. I'm hoping this is making sense to you guys. I'm going to put a clip in and I'm going to slow it down even more so you guys can like see how to do the actual rope twist. Okay, so we're back here in the middle. You're going to split this in half and then you're going to start the rope twist, okay? I'm not going to talk for this part because I want y'all to see the, the rope twist, okay? If you need to rewind and watch that part again to see how you just twist it, you can rewind it and just watch it again. Because really all you're doing is just twisting the strand itself. Right. It's like you're wrapping the strand around like this and then you're just crossing the, the other one with it, if that makes sense. I have a hard time explaining things, so please bear with me. Now that we're done, in the Instagram thing that I wanted, that I'm doing like the inspired look for, she pretty much had these cut, and I'm gonna cut these and cut the rest of it too because it wasn't this long. So I'm gonna cut them and I'm gonna put the rubber bands on them. <laughs> This looks so freaking natural to me. Like, it really looks so natural. Like, I just twisted my hair. I love it, though. Like, I really, really love it. I wish I would have just cut this after. Because... It would have just... Like, see, if I wanted to wear it down, it wouldn't be bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay you guys so if you made it to the end of this video thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys